Hello, this is Mr. Kenyanola, and I'm going to help you derive the equation of a circle. Uh, so, here's a circle. Here's a circle on a coordinate plane. If you guys remember what a coordinate plane is, uh, it's you use that in Algebra 1 to graph all those lines and those parabolas. Uh, so this equation will help you graph a circle on a coordinate plane. And this is helpful not just for your math class, but um, in your video games that you play, uh, whatever system or computer you use, uh, they use this equation to help them, uh, help the whatever system uh, plot where that circle will go on that axis, on that coordinate plane. So. Um, here's a circle, and I'm going to help you find the equation of a circle. Uh, so, uh, think about a circle as it starts off with <clears throat> a center, okay, and we're going to call that center um, <clears throat> H and K. I'm going to use a red pen, actually. Uh, we're going to call that center H and k and uh this remember this first value is how far it goes uh from zero on uh horizontally or sidewaysies so it goes from zero all the way here h and k goes from zero and up okay k units up okay so it goes h units this way uh, to horizontally and k units vertically Okay, and we're going to use a formula, a theorem um, that we, for another shape, uh, we're going to use the Pythagorean theorem. And if you guys remember what the Pythagorean theorem is, it's used for right triangles. And um, if we were to apply the Pythagorean theorem to this right triangle, uh, this would be our C because this is our hypotenuse. And we know it's a hypotenuse because it's on the opposite of that 90 degree angle. Uh, this is a leg right here, and this is another leg right here. You could put the, the A over here, the B over here. Uh, we'll just put it this way. And the Pythagorean theorem is C squared is equal to A squared plus B squared. And you're probably wondering, what in the world does this triangle with everything is straight and has all it has three angles have to do with this that has nothing that's straight it's all just curves and arcs and everything and its only angle is 360 degrees uh, and we can't even see that angle but it has a rotation anyways we're still going to use this uh, so we're going to take a uh, a straight edge and we're going to draw a radius okay from here up to any point on the circle. Remember, a radius is just from the center to a point on a circle. Now, I want you guys to think of a circle this way. It is a set of points um, where you plot from, from the radius. So if you go from the center to the radius right here, okay, so the start of a radius ends on the circle, and that set of points is just all these points. If we rotated this radius going all the way around, we just connected all these points. Okay, so circle is just a set of points from the distance from the center to the circle and connected. So it's a circle. And so we're going to take this radius, and that's going to serve as our hypotenuse. Okay, and we're going to take our straight, e straight edge and draw a line going straight down to here. And we're going to draw another line that is horizontal. Uh, to here and that's perpendicular to this line so that hey look at that we have a right triangle and so this right triangle is going to help us figure out uh, the equation of a circle so this right here is our radius so we're just going to call this r the distance from the center to the point on a circle is the radius so we're going to call this r so we could already plug something in. We could already substitute something into this to this Pythagorean theorem: c squared equals a squared plus b squared. What can we plug in for this c? Yeah, r, because that's our hypotenuse. So we'll just write r squared. Now, next thing is, what's the a? What's the distance? So here's our a. A is the distance for horizontally. What's the distance horizontally from here to here? Well, what we're going to do is we really don't know that the numerical values for this right here. Uh, so we're just going to call it X and Y. OK, 
okay? Remember, x is how far um, this point is from the y axis or horizontally goes this way okay and then uh, the y axis the y value is how far it uh, vertically goes okay so um and this point right here we can figure out what this point is okay so if it, it it's it's a, it's aligned with this point right here so this x value right here is actually just x okay because it goes the same distance x away from there and th the y value for this coordinate right here okay so from here to here how far does it go well we can look at another point that'll tell us this point it's aligned with this line right here so it goes up k units so let's use these three points to figure out the distance from here to here so we could get that a value in our Pythagorean theorem. Well, if this line right here is just horizontal, so we're just going to care. We're only going to focus on the horizontal values in our coordinates. Those horizontal values are x and h, okay? Um, so what is the distance from, from h to x or x to h? Well, that would just be, so this distance would be x minus h okay so we know that this is x minus h this distance right here so if for example if we took a ruler and i said what's the distance from one to five so here's the one here's the five uh you could do two things you could count one two three four and so your the distance would be four inches or you could take this value the five and this value the one and subtract them five minus one is four and we can't really count with this one because we don't have numbers so we're going to do the other um other strategy of just subtracting x minus h okay so this a value is x minus h and because we're using the pythagorean theorem it is squared plus now what's this distance right here well we're only going to focus on the y and the k because it's a vertical line and we're going to do that same method we're just going to subtract y minus k okay so same thing if i said if i asked you what's the distance from so if I did vertically, let's go vertically. What's the distance from 1 to 4? You could either count or you could subtract 1 from 4. 4 minus 1 would be 3. So you just subtract. So here we subtract y minus k. So this b, we can substitute it. This b squared with y minus k squared. All right. And look at that, there is our equation of a circle. Um, so when you make a power card, flash card, put this in your notes on the front, label it equation of a circle. And another thing is to Write this in there and highlight or put an arrow saying that this is always negative. Okay, so it's x minus h. So that's going to be important. Um, so there's the equation of a circle. Watch the next video for examples on how to use the equation of a circle and um, how to write the equation of a circle. So uh, hope this helps. Have a great day.